Freya, I'm aware that 21st century technology remains a mystery to you, but when you see my name pop up on your phone, you answer it. Come home immediately. Mere hours after you lecture me about boundaries, and here you are at my house in the middle of the night. I came through the front door. You appeared through the window like a creeper. Besides, this is a matter of life and death. Oh, how novel. Call it a hunch, but I think your friend Lucian is torturing and killing humans in the quarter. There have been two victims so far, but I've constructed a psychological profile of the killer, and I don't think it's going to end there. Lucian would never be so sloppy. Although I admit there is a familiar method to this particular madness. You want to prove to me you're turning over a new leaf? Make sure this latest victim is the last one. Are you suggesting I prove my redeemability by killing my oldest friend? Such irony. Look, Nola PD can't take down a thousand-year-old psycho with vampire powers, but you can. You're the smartest, and the strongest, and the scariest. So make him stop. Elijah, what a glorious pleasure. I do apologize for the hour. Oh, it's no matter. I've long been nostalgic for the days when vampires conducted business in the dark. It's a boundary spell. No vampire from another sideline can enter without an invitation. <clears throat> Given the circumstances, you know. Lucian, I didn't come here to chinwag. Your little corporation has been butchering wolves in the Bayou Le Fourche. It's population control. There's viable land out there, viable that is, once the sudden influx of mangy wildlife has been eliminated. Take it you are alluding to the Crescent Pack. Haley Kenner, one of the Alphas, is missing. The, uh, hybrid Nick knocked up? <laughs> Surprised by your concern, Eliza. When your family left her to prowl the woods all these months, I just figured the tramp was persona non grata. Fair game. Now I ask you what your hunters did with my wife. Answers now. I'll have them inspect the roadkill in the morning. Jackson, your time is short. You go to the compound, fetch the chains from the carriage room. Darling Lucian, I'm quite happy to stand here and watch you die, or you can invite me in. The choice is yours. <laughs> 